Hello my friends and welcome to Paulina Art. Today I'm going to be doing this portrait of my favorite vampire, Barnabas Collins. I have this reference photo on my cell phone, which is not the best really, it's very small. But I'm going to try to do a very loose interpretation, a very loose portrait. Here we go. I'm spraying lightly my watercolor paper because this is what I'm using and I'm doing the background with a sponge. I find this uh, is a quick and easy way to put some color on the background. Now with a liner brush, I'm defining all the features so I won't lose them once I start doing my painting and adding the skin colors and such. I did this sketch in a different paper and once I was happy with the features and the proportions and everything, I transfer it into my watercolor paper or my canvas, whatever I'm using. I find this is an easy way to transfer clear lines into my, my paper. I like to sketch the face several times until I'm very, very familiar with the features because I find this is really gonna help me once I start doing my painting. And by tracing, I uh, can really see that everything is looking okay. Now I'm doing, I'm quickly applying some skin tone. For that, I'm using parchment white. I don't prefer titanium white myself. I'm also using a little bit of red ochre and yellow. And I'm adding some shadows here with the red ochre. And I'm putting a little bit of color on his hair <clears throat> just to make sure the face is, is looking okay. I'm adding a little bit of highlight. I usually work adding shadow and highlight, shadow and highlight. Now I move to the eyes. The eyes are very, very important in a portrait. If uh, the eyes don't look good, nothing is gonna look good. For the eyeballs, I use a mix of my white with a little bit of ultramarine blue and a drop of black. And now I'm defining the nose, but I'm still keeping the colors light because I can always go over and darken them as the portrait progresses. Now I'm working, I keep working on the eyes because at this stage I want to make sure I get the eyes right. Barnabas has a very intense uh, look, very dark eyes, and I want to get, get that before I, I move on. And it's basically adding shadow and light uh, to create the effect that I'm looking for at this stage of the painting. I still keep it very loose and I'm not super concerned with details. Moving on to his eyebrows, still using lighter colors, trying to add some shadows to the face. I'm using a very soft brush here to add the shadows. This is actually a makeup brush, but it works extremely well for me. It blends the shadows quite nicely. I'm happy with the paint, the way the painting is looking now. I just keep working on the eyes a little bit more, adding some white to the eyeballs. And this is how far I got today, my friends. Keep tuned for part two 